Hello, today I'm going to be having a tutorial of how to customize your iPod Touch um, with iPhone Box. You can also do this with SSH clients such as WinSCP. So what you're going to be doing here is deleting or editing some files on iPhone Box or SSH. In the tutorial I will, I will be using iPhone Box. This works on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or yeah, I think that's it, but they have to be jailbroken. Okay, so what you're going to do first is connect your device, okay? So yeah, okay, it is connecting now. I think it is connected, yes. So an auto play box will probably come up. So you just want to close that, and iTunes will probably come up as well. So you want to cancel or sync if it's happening. And yeah, that's basically what you're going to be doing. So. Um, yeah, when that's cancelled, you're going to want to click on your iPod Touch and then go into a uh, raw file system. So, and um, yeah, and then you'll get a variety of folders. You'll want to go onto system. Okay, and inside there, there will be a folder called library, which you'll also want to click on. And then there'll be some more folders, and the folder you'll want is called core services. Okay, so yeah, when you go on core services, they'll, the thing that you want in here is called springboard. And if you're on SSH, it'll be called springboard.app. So you want to go on there. And in here, you'll have all the... PNG files that you could ever want, like uh, yeah, all the pictures that you'll see on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So what you're gonna do is, on the picture that you want to delete or edit, um, you're gonna copy it to your PC. Yeah, you wanna. What you wanna do is find the um, the picture that you want to get rid of and you're going to copy it to your PC which I should be doing in a second because this is I'm doing this sort of recording this voice afterwards after I've or after I've done this in the first place so I don't have a clue what I'm doing it at the moment uh Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So here we go. I think I'm s doing something now. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So you're going to copy it to your, your PC. That's just backing it up, okay? You want to go into desktop or whatever. I'm just doing it on desktop. You can do it in my documents or folder or whatever. So I back that up. Now I'm going to back up this speaker. The PNG. Right, copy to PC. Again. Right, okay, same thing. Alright, now, once this is done, it'll be on my desktop. So, you're going to want to delete them. delete the two and then yeah the reason you I'm going to delete them from my device is because when you turn your volume up and down it will have those icons and when you're on in an application you can it won't obscure your view of what you're doing on your app or when you're watching a video so I think that's pretty good oh I got a cold and a cough at the same time so my voice is a bit dodgy Okay, you can do all these ed editing. So what you could do, you could do it on a any picture you could get, and you can um, do a new. You can put a, actually put a different picture on if you wanted to. So what I'm going to do here is get the folder thing. Actually, I'm not going to do that. It's just an example. Yeah, so what you can do, you can delete that and do the same thing, and then your folders will be just like 
floating icons. That's a good way of putting it, I guess. Yeah. So I'm not going to do that because I don't have any folders at the moment. So yeah, it wouldn't have much effect on me. Okay. Oh, this is killing me. This cough. Yeah, this is done on the iOS 4.0, by the way, in case you're wondering. Okay, that is about it, so remember to subscribe, comment, and... Yeah, comment if you want more videos, and comment to see for questions. <coughs> and if you have any questions or requests, so, and like the video. So, I think this video is about over now. So, yeah. So, remember to 